I'm Sergio Ruzier, I'm an illustrator of Roar Like a Dandelion by Ruth Kraus. When uh, the editor approached me, telling me that there was a manuscript that was never published by Ruth Kraus, of course, the first thing I was really very happy and honored that they would think of me. I was also a little skeptical, of thinking, why didn't she publish it in life? Maybe it's not that good, you know, it could happen to the best ones. But then when I finally read it, I thought, that, that it was as good as the best books that she's published in the 50s and the 60s, that books that were illustrated by Maurice Sendak or uh, Crockett Johnson or others. So I was very happy to, to be able to illustrate it. What I like of many uh, Ruth Krauss books, and especially on this one, is the fact that there is no real story or there are many stories in the book and each reader will see something different. When you're illustrating somebody else's text. You don't want just to repeat things that are already in the text, so you want to add something. So one, one goal, especially on, this, on a book like this, is uh, what kind of stories can, can I create uh, based on those sentences that can just be free and uh, as free as the text is. At the beginning, I thought of, of using a, a purple crayon. Just It was a, like, a really small nod uh, to Crockett Johnson's work, the Harold and the Purple Crayon. But then, though, in the picture where the, the little mouse, it wouldn't have made sense with a crayon. So I decided to use paint with a brush, but I still left the purple uh, as the color, the same way that Harold's crayon was purple. Thank you.